Howdy folks, welcome back. So I've been going through some of the old photos and running them through the filter and this was one of the first ones that I had ever captured. And what's going on here is um, I'm here on my knees. I'm crying and screaming and praying all three at once. I was in some extreme anguish. Uh, a paranormal traumatic event happened to me. Something so unbelievable you guys wouldn't believe it So if I told you. So I'm going to show you instead. So in this image here, I'm sitting here praying and uh, Mary's head appears right next to my head and we're going to zoom in on this and you can't go in too tight on it but she's looking down at my head this way let's see there's a pretty good and you can make out her eye and her nose coming down her shawl coming over and it's in shadow right here this is a shadow of the inside of her shawl going over her head like this Here's her eye, her nose, her other eye would be on the other side there. Okay. And you can't go in too tight on it. And then also is this white ball with an eye in it, this white orb with an eye in it. Okay, and that's not all because over here in this corner up here is an angel. The silhouette of an angel with his wings spread, with his back to us, standing in a shaft of light. Here's his head. There's a glow over the head. The wings are extended, and there's a feather coming off. The last feather coming off is crossing over these brown roof tiles in the background here. And you can make out there's an angel right here. And you can even see his head right here. I'm going a little bit tighter. So there's the angel with his back to us and his wings spread. Yeah, you can see a lot be better with the filter. Before it was really faint and it was hard to see. Same with this. This came out a little bit better here. Yeah, there's Mary looking down at my head because I was in anguish. I mean, what happened to me was just so disturbing i i can't even describe it i was in crying screaming and praying an experience i'd never felt before all three of them at the same time it was just it was just terrible but what happened was i was out in my garage and praying and my security camera captured this image and it wasn't until a few days later that i went back through my you know my security camera that i saw this image and went oh my god what happened here so there's that one for the moment. Just real quick, let's zoom in real quick on her because I want you to see that this little structure right here is actually a tube. It's part of a display that I had made, a three-dimensional replica of a sign that God showed me. So this is a little replica that I had set up in my garage. I was doing videos to try to describe what I had seen. And uh, that was sitting in the background. So this part right here is a tube that's on the ground. But as we zoom in, this black area right here, this shaded area, the inside of her shawl is not in the garage. That is natural, or that's part of this picture. So that's definitely pointing out that there's something here. And it's for me, it's easy to see. I can see Mary's face crystal clear. Hopefully some of you guys can too. And it's not just Mary. There's more to it than just Mary. There's Jesus, too. So don't think this is a Catholic-type thing or whatever. It has more to do with it than uh, you think. So, on to my next picture. Okay, in this image here, you can see we're still in the garage with our same display right here. And this was actually captured the day before the other picture, but I hadn't found it for years later until I was digging around through my, you know, my old pictures and stuff and went even further back to see if I'd missed anything. And I captured this one and we're going to zoom in to this streak right up here. This one right here. Just bear with me for a second here. Now, hopefully, you can see 
that we have a lady's profile here. Here's her eye, here's her forehead, her snub little nose, here's the bottom jaw, she's smiling, she's looking down and she's holding a baby, and here's the baby's head right here, here's the face, the back of the head, here's her arm cupped around like this, and she's holding the baby. Now I'm going to run this through the filter real quick and it's going to enhance it, but a little bit too much. But see, now you can really make out her profile a lot better and see her face and her headdress is coming over and going down back behind her. And you can still make out the baby's head right here. And maybe if I pull back a little bit, there we go. And this was captured the, on October 4th. So this was about 11 days after the Revelation 12 sign. All this stuff started happening to me just prior to the Revelation 12 sign and then right after it. So it said the woman was about to give birth. Well, it looks like maybe she gave birth and here's the little baby being caught up to God. Yep. It's a lot better there. Hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better now than before. We'll undo the filter real quick just so you can get the original. Now you can see the baby's head just a little bit better. You can make out his little ear. And then we'll put the filter back in again. And there we go. There's your Revelation 12 baby being born right there in my garage caught on my security camera. So that's it for now. Um, my next video, I've been capturing demons and Satan as well. And I'm going to bring that stuff to you too. I don't really glorify him and I, I don't like to uh, give him too much attention or whatever. But it is part of this and you guys do need to see this. So my next ones will be dealing with the other side, the demonic side. So... Until uh, then, I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.